Uh, Court, where are you going? <laughs> ice skating. I'm a really great ice skater. Oh, yeah? I bet I'm twice as good as an ice skater as you are. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to go skate a figure eight. Well, I'm going to go skate a figure 16. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Fridays. There's so much to see. Who will we meet? It all happens magically. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Camp Brocious, Indiana University's all-inclusive vacation destination featuring furnished lakeside cabins and multi-generational waterfront and outdoor adventures for the whole family. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the Gigacity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922 and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Courtney. And I'm Matt. We've got a really cool episode of the Friday Zone today, Court. Yeah, we're going ice skating, making some fruitsicles, <sighs> and we've even got a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the coolest of all, our friends from the Terre Haute Children's Museum are here to share some awesome science. Right. And we start with a song on the Friday Zone playlist. See <laughs> so your penguin. 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 Just got a new kid, new kid at school. He's a little bit different, but a lot of bit cool. He's not from around here, he's from far away. Doesn't speak the language, but you really ought to hear him say his penguins. Penguins, penguins. Oh, oh, speaking the penguins, if you please.
the sock. And this is Food or Not Food. The only game show that wants to know, is it food or not food? And now, here's our host who's banana of my banana cream pie, Joey Bananas! Thanks, Sylvia. I'm Joey Bananas, and welcome to Food or Not Food. Is our contestant Merlin ready? Well, come on over. Do you know how to play food or not food? Sure. Okay, here's your image. And now, here are your three clues. They are Fox, Perennial, and Alexander the Great. So, Merlin, is this food or not food? It's food. Correct! It's grapes! The fox is a character from the fable of The Fox and the Grapes by Aesop. Do you know that one? Aesop was a famous Greek storyteller. Grapes are perennials, which is a type of plant that grows back year after year. So you only have to plant it once. Alexander the Grape I mean, great, was a famous military commander from the 4th century B.C. Hey, Joey, did Aesop ever write a fable about a sock and a banana? I don't know. I bet it would go something like this. One day, a banana was walking along, and it slipped on a sock! <laughs> I'm Joey Bananas, and we'll see you next time on Food or, or not, not Food! food. guys, we're in the zone today with Renee and Lynn from the Terre Haute Children's Museum and y'all are here to talk about germs, is that correct? Germs. So germs. what is a germ? Germ is usually a microbe or a microorganism. They're really teeny tiny things. Like if you pulled your hair out and looked at it, uh -huh. they're 20 times less wide than your hair. Well, that's so, pretty small. so you couldn't be able to see them. Even. No, you can't mm -hmm. hardly ever see them, and they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Every they are. Yeah. They're, they're all over you. Do you different. know there's more in your mouth right now than there is in the whole world of people? <gasps> Whoa! More germs in my mouth than people in, in the, the world. world. Mm -hmm. wow. That's amazing. Wow. It is, and so, but some of them are really good. Like we have um, germs and stuff like that in our gut uh -huh. to help us digest. So oh, you couldn't so digest could your food, thing. right? And what about when you're out in the woods and you see things that are laying on the ground and they're rotting? That's germs mm. and such doing good work. So there are good so germs there, and bad germs? There are, there's plenty of bad germs. In fact, I think we might have some bad germs around here, do we? That make us sick. Know. You know, there are germs that make us sick. Is and, a germ like this one? Yeah, what's that one? This is. Ebola. Ebola. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got a really serious one. But quite a bit bigger than a normal germ. Yeah, it is. This Much is larger. Cute. And it's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But germs aren't really cute. So, um, what would happen if Matt got this. hit with these germs, what? do you think? What if we threw the would germs at Would it make Matt? him sick? Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 we got to defend we ourselves. We got to defend ourselves from the germs. Oh, Please. you guys. So what should I do to defend myself? Yeah. Well, there's yeah. sneezing is yeah. one way. You get yeah. rid of the germs when you sneeze. From sneezing. Coughing does the same thing, right? When you cough, you're getting rid get of those rid of germs. Oh. And then you can wash your hands, wash your hands. And then over and over okay. and over again. It's soap. Mm -hmm. And soap. And the soap kills the germs? It does. It gets so the germs, germs to go away. That's amazing. <laughs> And it is good for your hands, and yeah, it keeps you healthy. Wow. So exactly. you guys have protected yourself, so right. maybe now you won't get sick. Right. And so you guys, you're having a lot of experiments for yes. us, right? Yeah. Okay, so on this one, guys, there are cups here, and they all have water in them. And I want you to do something like this, okay? We're going to each take a cup, and one person will pour into the next one, and then they're going to pour it back, Okay. And then you're gonna go to the next person, and we're gonna do that three or four times, okay? okay. And we're gonna see, it, this is showing us how germs spread. So there's like some germs in here, okay. and we're gonna be able to see them at the end. 
um, with some special liquid called the stuff. Oh. And <laughs> the name of it left me indicator. Indicator. And it will tell us whether there's the germs have gotten past. So okay, cool. some of these cups have germs in them, some don't. And so as we pass around each other, we'll see how widely, how many of us end up sick at the end. Great. Okay, okay let's get started. So let's give a cup to each of you guys. Yep. Okay. Everyone hold your cup. Be sure not to spill. Yes, it, it is a little warm. Everybody, oh, Lynn, do you have one? Yeah. Everybody's got one? Yeah. Okay, got one. so um, turn to the person next to you. Okay. okay, so you're gonna come to me and give me your water. Pour your water in the other person's. Right, pour oh. all of it? Pour okay. as much of it as you can. And then pour it back? And then pour it back. About half of the cup, <laughs> so that each person's got about half of a cup, okay? Now, we'll trade places and do it with the person? person on the other side of you, so okay. Lynn. And then yeah. boom, we'll pour back. share. Pour some in okay. All right. And then pour about half. How about you and I? Okay. There and then go. pick somebody you haven't I'll already done it back. with. Do you want to switch okay. your pour mine? Okay, go ahead. I'll pour it in here. A little more. Let's get these. A little more. Yeah. Okay. Jeremy germs. Okay. Okay. How about Courtney, you and I share? Okay. <laughs> Well, let's see what we have. Yeah, let's okay. see. Okay. So see now products. we're going to drop in let's our see. indicator in everybody's cups. Because it looks and the same, but it must not yeah. be. All right. right. Let's you want to have a seat? Let's put the indicator in and see what happens. Okay. Hold, know which is your cup right. so that we know who's getting sick. If it turns green, then you're fine. If it turns another color, then you're not fine. <gasps> you're sick. This is uh -huh. mine. Oh, mine's turning pink. The moment it hit mine, it turned right to red. Uh oh, oh you're really then you're sick. really sick then. Uh -oh. If it's yellow or I'm pink really or red, then you ended uh -oh. up sick. Wow. How many of us sick. ended up sick? Hey, I didn't win. Really I've got some pink. Does anyone oh, have a green Yeah, color? you're green. You're He's, healthy. You're the, you're the only, only one. Oh, wait, no, you two are both healthy. Yes. We've got two that are healthy out of yeah, all of us, healthy. and the rest of us got, hey. the germs both got passed yeah. around to us, and we wow. got sick. Wow, so that's such a cool way to Mine see how nice. fast germs travel, right? Right. Nope, yours is pinkish. Awesome. So because mine turned green, that means I didn't get sick at all? That's right. But oh, mine turned awesome. red, and I got sick. I think because you must have... Experience some contact with some germs. So you were just really lucky, and that's why. I must have but, been really, but I must have some defenses too. But germs spread really easily, which hmm. is what we learned. Well, that's so. That's very true. Well, cool. We have another experiment, but before that, you guys check out the fun in the fitness zone. Oh, I can't believe it. So. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. We're here at the Carmel Ice Stadium, and today we're going to learn about hockey. Let's go. Claire. Claire is nine years old. She plays for the Indy Fusion team. Claire, how long have you been playing hockey? Like five or six years now. Great. And what do you like most about hockey? Um, it's more about the fun than anything else, really. It's just a fun sport to play with all my friends. So we have all this gear here. Can you show me how to put this on and what's it, what it's used for? Okay, this is the um, belt, which you um, strap around like this. And these little clasps hold your socks up. Next is the shin guards. There are two of them. And what do these help do? They protect you if a puck comes and it hits your shins. Next are your socks. Next we put on the pants. The next thing is your shoulder pads where you just put them over your head and then you take the velcro and fasten it on the torso. These are the elbow guards and um, you put them on your elbows. Next is the jersey. You Great. pull over your head like a shirt. All right, so what's the last thing that we need to do? Your helmet. Which you take it and you strap it. Look good? Yeah. Here we go. All yeah. right, let's go. let's go. Okay, 
All right, we're ready to start learning how to play hockey. Claire, what's the first move you want to show me? Stick handling is, it's, the, it's basically the hockey equivalent of dribbling. Okay. The next thing we're going to learn is how to pass. So you keep your body and extend your arms a little bit back. All right, let's see. Nice job. That was good. Oh, there we go. Would you like to come in and try on the net? Yeah, let's try that. Basically the same as passing, except you draw back more and shoot. Cool, I want to try. Yeah, come so on. So draw back and shoot. Nice job. All right, Claire, thank you so much for teaching me how to play hockey. We're here with your sister, Mary. How about you guys show us how it's really done? Okay. Claire, thank you so much for teaching me how to play hockey today. You're welcome. And kids at home, check to see if you have an ice skating rink in your area and maybe you can try hockey too. Hey guys, welcome back. Just before we get started on our next cool, fun science experiment, I got a little joke for everyone. So, how do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in oh. it! <laughs> and, that's, and that's just what we're doing. We're making some boogers. Making boogers? Oh. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. With our friends Lynn and Renee from the Terre Haute Children's Museum. All right, so I think you have a few questions before we get started. I do. I wanted to ask the kids, how do germs get into your body? Through your mouth and through your nose. That's right. Nice. They do all those yeah. openings, right? Yeah. So, Ooh. but how do we? How does our body protect us from germs going in those places? You cough and uh, sneeze. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah there Good you job. go. Good. Oh, yeah, and that's the like perfect that. way to do it. Right into your elbow, so you're not <laughs> passing those germs like we found out earlier. Mm -hmm. So now, there's something natural in your nose that helps protect it. Mm -hmm. There's nose hairs, right? Mm -hmm. And so what do nose hairs do? Smell. No, not no. your nose hairs. That's the other parts of your nose that do, do they, that. Do they collect the germs that come in through your yeah, nasal Yeah, like passage? dust and stuff. Like, yeah. if you, have you ever been outside playing in the dust and then you come inside and you blow your nose and it's like really, really dirty? Uh -huh. mm. Right, yeah, that's right. pretty yeah. nasty. Well, that's because your nose hairs collected all that dust. So hmm. I've got some magic germs here. Um, they're glitter germs. <laughs> they actually aren't real germs. Oh. <laughs> but because I don't want to make anybody right. sick. But oh, watch what happens when this is my nose hairs. We're mm -hmm. going to use a model. You know how what a model is, where you make something that's not real, but it kind of replicates right. what was mm -hmm. real and makes it like a copy of it. Yeah. So you can kind of pretend with it. So we're going to pretend that this is your nose hairs, okay. the brush, right? Okay. And this is our. Glitter germs. Glitter germs. So watch what happens when I pour that on there. Did I get some glitter germs caught? Yeah. Yeah. I did, didn't I? I got a few. Oh, Can you see them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But then what happened inside, guys? Did I get them all? Mm. No. No, there's plenty of glitter germs that got back, got past that right into my mm -hmm. body. So what could we do to make it so that not so many germs got through? Um, get more nose hairs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's possible. Mm -hmm. What else is there in there uh, Do besides know? your nose hair? Do you Anybody know? know? What else is in your nose? Uh, boogers. Snot and boogers. Snot, snot and boogers. Snot boogers. Snot Absolutely. So let's make some snot. Okay. Um, so we're going to take some gelatin, uh -huh. you know, the stuff that is in jello mm -hmm. that makes it gel, because it's a protein. And your snot is made out of protein. So we're going to put some snot protein snot in protein. here. So what else is in your body? What's the most things that we have in our body? Mm -hmm. Water. Mm-hmm. What? Water. Right, water. 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 So we need oh. some water in our snot, right? So here we go. Pour about that much water in, and we're going to put it inside the dish. Matt, can you stir oh, that up uh, for yeah, me? Yeah, I can. And then I'm going to get now. You know, you probably have younger brothers and sisters that eat their snot. 
know, <laughs> but people do it, right? So you know little bitty ones do it. Part of that is, is because it's sweet. Did you know that? That mm -mm. your snot is sweet. It's so sweet? we're gonna add a drop of honey okay. into this to make it real snot-like. Oh. Oh. That's already is looking. Is it starting oh. to look snot-like, Matt? Yeah. Snotty. Oh, yeah. Does that look oh. snotty? Yeah. Oh. Pretty <laughs> Pretty snotty. Uh -huh. Wow, we made boogers. Yeah. <laughs> you did, you made boogers. Oh, man. But we make boogers all the time, naturally. Right. right? We do. Exactly. So can you put them on the nose hairs? I can. So that we can see what happens. Cover the whole nose hairs with it, because that's what happens in our nose, mm -hmm. right? So now we got boogers on our nose hairs. Boom. And now, now if what? I put the germs, try to get through, what's going to happen? The <gasps> boogers are going to catch it. They caught lots and lots wow. of them. Wow, so much back, more. Watch this. If I even sweep them up, I Whoa. even. Wow. So that's so a really good protection. boogers are a good thing. Right. They are. I didn't know well, boogers awesome. could do that. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Pretty cool. cool. Well, that was so fun. Thank we'll be right back. Oh my gosh, look at those boogers. In the Friday's Zarg say something wrong? No. You just reminded me of the friends that I lost. Maybe Zarg can help you find them. <laughs> no, no. I didn't misplace them. I didn't even want to move here. Friends are important to have? Yes, they are. They share the good times, the bad, and they comfort you when you are sad. What, what, what does this say? Oh, here, here, you're looking at it upside down. <laughs> For mid old friends tried and true, once more we our youth renew. But old friends, alas, they die. New friends must their place supply. Cherish friendship in your breast. New is good, but old is best. Make new friends, but keep the old. Those are silver, these are gold. Peggy? Yes, Zarg? Zarg is Peggy's new friend. <laughs> Friday, Friday. Yeah, Pops, what did the dentist see at the North Pole? Well, I don't know, son. What did the dentist see at the North Pole? A motor bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. I didn't see you. I was just relaxing under the sun with one of my fresh fruity sickles. Mmm, refreshing. Today, we're making fruity sickles. To make fruity sickles, we'll need one peach, two kiwis, three-fourths a cup of strawberries, mmm, half a cup of raspberries, grab some blueberries, and of course, some delicious fruit punch. Wow! Lastly, you're gonna need a mold to make the popsicles. And some popsicles themselves. Wow, mix them all together. Grab the tray. Pour it in and wait for a few hours. You got some fruity sickles. Yeah. Once I went ice fishing in Alaska, it was really cool.
Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Zone. We're just about out of time, but I wanted to thank Lynn and Renee for joining us today on the Friday Zone. And if you want to hear more about science and learn more about slime and boogers Ooh. and germs, check out the Terre Haute Children's Museum. So we're going to make our own slime today, is that correct? We are. It's a new recipe. So we're going to start with clear Elmer's glue okay. in those cups. All the kids have them, right? So now you're going to take half of our quarter, half of the red spoon, oh. fill it halfway with baking soda, so okay. we need baking which is soda, in here. Glue. And then we're going to use some saline solution oh, like you use for your contact lenses. That is so cool. Thank and you for And we've China. added some fo food coloring to it. Too. And that's it? That's it. Oh, wow. That's the only ingredients. Wow, thank you for joining us on the Friday Zone. Remember sure. to visit our website at FridayZone.org to watch past episodes, play games, and see behind the scenes photos. And remember, and remember to, to live, live, learn, and play the Friday, Friday Zone, Zone way. way. Let's get All right, what's the next step? Okay, so now you're going to take uh, five milliliters of um, the contact lens solution with food coloring and put it. Oops, I didn't stir it up. Yet. Oh, I didn't stir it up. Oh, I, I gotta stir it now. Stir, stir everybody. Oh, okay. I forgot stir. to tell you to do that. Stir. Okay, now we've stirred. Okay, stir. now put your and liquid in. in. Uh huh. And now stir until it sticks together. Stir until it sticks together. So put five milliliters in it. Maybe Ooh. if you do in between, Courtney, between two people, they two could do it at once. Yes. So each of you take. Get, you, get some food coloring in there. Is it cool. looking slimy? Yeah. Okay, pull it out and see if you can't play with it. Oh, too much. Look oh, at Matt. Play with it. Yeah. Oh my. Wait. It's slime. Oh. It's. Now. The thing is that um, people say that this isn't the borax, but it is actually um, is the contact lens solution is made out of boric acid. Oh, so wow. It just makes people the feel a little time. better that it's something that you put in your eye instead of laundry uh, detergent, right. but it's the same chemical. Oh, my. What do you think? It's slimy for sure. Here, I got, you know, Ooh. the right amount, if that's okay. Wow, it's so easy yeah. to make it. Uh -huh. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by... Camp Brocious, Indiana University's all-inclusive vacation destination featuring furnished lakeside cabins and multi-generational, waterfront and outdoor adventures for the whole family. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the Gigacity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922 and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. The Friday Zone is online all the time. FridayZone.org is where you'll find information about the show, how to get in touch with us with questions or ideas, and read our behind the scenes blog. It's also where you can watch this episode, past episodes, and segments too. There's even web exclusive content you won't see on the air. So check us out at FridayZone.org. <laughs>